Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play LSD. I'm your host, CPC Gamer, and in our last episode, I began a tangent about the Grey Man, but then the Dream ended, so it didn't really go anywhere. When do my tangents ever go anywhere in this series? I don't know. Still, we are back, so we can now continue this discussion. Bit of context, my idea about the Grey Man assumes that this game is an alien sleep experiment. The game's play character has been abducted, and aliens are watching what they do while she roams the dream world. What if the Grey Man is another abductee who's going through the simulation with you, and his data is bleeding through into yours? I mean, it would make sense, since she shows up in every map with no rhyme or reason, and it could explain why the replay data goes away when the two of you cross paths. Like, you know, if you try to play both sides of a tape at once, you get a jumbled mess and you have to throw it out. That's what happens when you cross paths with the Grey Man. I mean, it's a nice thought that he's neither good or bad, he just... is. And I'm just going to keep going and ignore the fact that I just talked about the logistics of cassette tapes as a storage medium. I mean, I know that nothing has ever passed magnetic tape, and I only use DVD and Blu-ray because that's what everyone else is doing, but we need to move along. Hey, fella! I'm glad you're spawning over here some more to make up for the last few times when I didn't get to see you. I wonder if you do something to the length of the dream. I, mean, I know that the Pagoda dreams are usually short anyways, but does he, like, even it out or make it a regular length or... Whoa. Well, hush my mouth. They are as short as ever. And that's a shame, because I was liking the look of that blood-red sky. Except not quite blood-red because blood dries brown. Bit of a, a pro tip if ever you need that. Now, my friends and I do a lot of blood work with costuming, and we've got a lot of tricks between us. And my favourite is making realistic spatter patterns by recreating the required trauma. I mean, my friends at work think it's kind of weird how I can get such a good effect. And by weird, I mostly mean creepy. Apparently I used to do that as a bunch as a kid. Like, say really creepy stuff, but think nothing of it. I used to, used to see angels, I am told. So, I don't know how much I believe in that. And I'm amazed that I could see that woman in such a short distance. The, the draw distance in this game is... Aggressively short sometimes. Okay, that yellow bit was something on the pillar. And now I'm with exploring the temple. By which I mean f following the woman in the kimono right here. Wait, are you moving? She is! Oh no, this is a new behavior that I have not seen before. Sadly, this means that I'm going to hang around and do a little bit more waiting to see what happens when she reaches the edge of the map. I don't know how far through the temple I am, because this could take a little while before we're down by the throne. Are her feet moving? Oh, they totally are! I didn't know she did that! Clearly. I, mean, I, I didn't know she moved around at all. It figures I wouldn't know that she moved her feet as well. So how's it going, kimono lady? You heading somewhere fun and interesting? Because if you work anything like the priests in the town area, you're going to go through the wall and out into the non-space that surrounds this area. Which is right here, actually. That was pretty fortuitous stroke of luck. I kind of expected we'd be at the other end of the temple and the waiting game would go on for a lot longer than it has. Hopefully not as long as it feels. Now, this is a weird temporal anomaly. I feel like I've been standing watching you for about an hour. Well, with that said, we might still be waiting for an hour because... Now I'm stood immediately beside you, I see you're moving pretty slowly. When I come to rule the world, because I will, it's only a matter of time, I'll tell you that much, I will replace all the roads in the world with quicksand for instances like this. You ever find yourself walking down the street behind a row of four people, except their walking pace is glacial? Because I hate that, and it is in no way a petty grievance to replace the local infrastructure just to hurry them along. Now maybe it's me, because I used to be terrified of quicksand. I mean, I don't know if this happened in America, but when I was a kid, literally every other show on kids' TV featured quicksand as a predominant threat. That or rattlesnakes. 
And when I watched these shows, I thought that these two were just... ...naturally occurring things that you'd run into on the street. Why are you going this way, miss? I really was not expecting you to turn. I guess you are supposed to take this path, which... It makes sense if you come to think about it, because the monks head into the linking tunnel and out into the world. It figures you'd do the same. Come to think of it, the giant head body does it as well. The the one in the Bright Moon Cottage. Weird. And now you're just teasing me. Hurry up, I, I want to see what happens next. It's weird, I only get this way when I play games. I don't mind waiting for the suspense or what have you when I'm watching a movie or reading... I forget what they're called, but those those weird sandwiches that have words on them. Those? It doesn't look like you do anything in the tunnel. But you haven't made it to the end yet. Oh, come on, game. She was further down the tunnel than that. Why you gotta do that? Ah, well. It's time to... Oh! Oh, come on! Game! Just when I get over my apparently irrational fear of you doing that, you go ahead and do it anyways. Why'd you only do that when I come into Kyoto? I'm gonna stop doing that. Or, I've got to find the entrance to the natural world and... See if you do it when I get there, too. Hey, Peacock. What do you do? You make me think about nature is what you do. Like, it's kind of weird that, in humans, females are the ones who are generally expected to dress up and look glamorous for the guys, when, in the animal kingdom, it's usually the other way around. Like, you ever see a peahen? Because they are dull, and grey, and boring. And then you have peacocks, who just rock up like, YO! I don't know what noise a peacock makes, but, come on, look at him. You know that they would go, YO! like that. You probably don't want to do this, guy. Although, with that said, avoiding trains isn't as impressive when you recognize the concept of rails. Hello! I see, I told you guys there was a patch of mushrooms in this map, and there they are. Not entirely sure what they're doing in this corner, but hey, there they are. I also thought they were flipping, but I, I could be thinking of a Locust Toy Box song. Happily Flipping Mushrooms. It's a pretty upbeat song. You should probably go check it out. I don't know when I link with you guys. If it's anything specific, I don't know. But it sounds pretty cheerful, so it's... Why on earth am I back here? That's a pretty confusing one, game. Which is saying something, because you're... Pretty confusing to begin with. <laughs> Especially if you're going to wake me up before I can do what I was going to do. I, mean, I mentioned before, apparently the bear has scripting so that it runs away if you approach it, but I guess we're going to have to wait before I can test that now, won't we? Aren't we? Whatever. We'll also have to wait for the next topic. Because I mean, we haven't had a tech stream for a while and we might be in for a surprise. You know, I started working on translating the text streams for this game back when I was in college, and that is a really depressing thought. Okay, I don't know if you're familiar with the last episode of LSD, or last couple of videos that I uploaded, but this right here is some collusion between the game and another bit of the same game. I don't know. Whatever, this is the fourth time the game has spawned me in this exact location in recent videos. And frankly, I'm a tad suspicious. Now, the last few times I came here, the line was largely unresponsive, so I'm gonna see what he'll do today. I say like I don't already know. <laughs> and I guess he's just gonna keep pushing me around. Okay? What about you? He says, as if he doesn't already know what the lion does when you get it mad. Oh! He's auto-tracking! He's gonna act that- Start pushing me around? Holy frame rate, Batman! Did you see that? 
is it me? Or was that a rather delayed response to waking up? I mean, that's alright, I suppose. I, I have that too. I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I have dreams where... I mean, basically, I die, but nothing really happens. Like, I fall from a height, smash into the floor, and lie there for a bit before realizing... Oh yeah, I should probably do something now. And then I wake up. And... Now I am here. I'm gonna go ahead and do something different. I'm not gonna try and escape this one. I'm gonna head right into this wall. See? I can mix it up a little bit. Do things the game hasn't seen before. I mean, never before have I... linked into a wall, I... tell you what. Never before has the game... Link me in front of the bookcase like that, that's for sure. I kind of feel like I'm in one of those Escape from the Room Flash games for some reason. Don't know why. It's one of those weird things where I never liked the Escape from the Room games because they use ridiculous, circuitous logic. But if you look at some of the puzzle games I made when I was a kid, they are not much better. Now with me, they came in two flavors. There was Tick, which was find 36 differently labeled keys and apply them to 36 differently labeled keyholes. And then there was Tick 2, which followed the ludicrous train of logic that made sense to me at the time. And then you have stuff like To the Manor Burn, which was just weird and trippy and experimental. Oh, hey! Yes, I am glad that I came here, because it lets me address something that I brought up in the last video. Just as soon as I get to the right spot. Okay, so I pointed out that the kanji on the floor looks like it says bright lights in the sky. And as soon as I saw this, I was trying to tie this into my all-encompassing alien theory. Because, you know, hey, UFOs are, are pretty commonly portrayed as being bright lights in the sky, right? I mean, certainly there is literally nothing else that bright lights in the sky can refer to. I mean, I was all excited to show off how, hey, there's another subtle nod to the theory that I've convinced myself to be entirely true, because, like I say, there is absolutely nothing else that bright lights in the sky can refer to. The phrase that we found underneath the street lamp, which is a bright light in the sky. I'm just gonna keep going, pretend I didn't just witness a horrendous crash. Because I didn't. I was staring into a bright light in the sky, and... Trying to pretend I don't have a crazy amount of confirmation bias. Oh, hey, guy. You need a name beyond Corpse Kicker. It's a pretty metal name, but it's not going to look good on your CV. Very few people would hire you if you introduce yourself as Corpse Kicker. And the places that do, you, you probably don't want to. You probably don't want to work for those guys. And you might think that's common sense, but some of the people I've interviewed, you would be super surprised. Like. Sorry, guy in Dragon Force t-shirt and slash jeans. Love to hang out with you outside of work, but... Probably not the thing you should have worn to the interview. I'm lying. I, I don't hang out with folks outside of work. It cost me points in my review once. It's pretty great, because, like... You've got to be reaching really, really far if that's what you're pulling me up on, rather than how I'm doing my job. You know? I'm still hoping for the body to show up on this lamppost. Probably indicative of a UFO abduction in progress, I reckon, and... Not a horrible body swinging from a lamppost. Now, in all serious note, the, the Dream Diary talks about violence against women a lot of the time, so... It makes sense that it would show up in the violence district. There's also some shockingly dark stuff in there as well, it's... Really depressing. And the game isn't going to play the way I want it to, so I'm going to go look at the corpse kicker. I think I should call him Jeff. Like I was saying before, you give somebody a human name, and suddenly, they are less of a monster. I'm pretty sure he doesn't do anything, like, if you bow to him or look over his head or whatever, but I'm... I'm going to go say hello anyways. I predict nothing will go wrong. And I like how I check left and right to see if anything's going to come rushing out at me. Because <laughs> this game is just so... Notorious for things moving at a fast pace and taking you by surprise. Though it actually kind of is, because it, it has a habit of just popping stuff in front of the camera and making me jump. I guess I'm back here again. 
Tonight is the night for being pushed around the map that I currently occupy. Now, some people have the game glitched by loading the wrong textures or models or behaviors. Me, I get to go to the violence district again. What a useless power up. And that never stops being creepy. Not as creepy as it could be, incidentally. Apparently, it's possible to have her just follow you around the violence district after her head falls off. But even if it isn't, that is not something I particularly want to see. Wait a second. Those guys there before now. I, mean, I didn't see them, but that doesn't really count for much in this game. I want to make some spawn. And I'm glad they're here, though, because... Now I get to talk about the Dream Diary some more! Because it talks about a particular dream the author had where... She goes to visit a temple, but she gets lost in a huge forest of poisonous mushrooms that are bigger than she is. And... The author talks about how she always had this dream whenever she had a fever as a child. I think I'm back in... Happy Town again, yeah. Exactly. Sure hope the game gives this a static rating when we get to the end of the night. With that, that said, a static rating would make a great deal of sense, and this game does not make any degree of sense to me. Hey there, Crazy Daisy Jane. Are you going to keep luring me someplace, or are you going to stop at some point? Ah, I guess you're stopping. Whatever. And I really like the image they used for the Daisy's face in that one. I know it's the blank alien face to keep showing up in the various textures, but it, it looks so happy with a smiling mouth. Oh, check it out! It's you again! How are you doing, patrol ship? I kind of get the feeling you're a trap. You know, I'm going to run to you, and the grey man's going to jump me when I least expect it. So, I'm going to look right ahead where the grey man is going to be, because I'm the smartest of guys. I wonder if the ship does anything. He said, as the whole place exploded above him. Oh, and look at that! The ship stayed in place! As did the crossbars! Which... I guess it means that they're environmental actors, not part of the level geometry. Which, in turn, means that the hanging corpses would show as hanging in midair, rather than swinging from a lamppost. Now, this is... still something that I'd like to, to test as and when I can, but... Knowing what I know about the game, that's... Not gonna happen. Nice work with the level geometry there, game. So yeah, it's great that I can say I know stuff about this game. I actually can say it this time, because I'm talking about the actual engine mechanics, not the things that I have chosen to infer from what I have seen. And I kind of forget what I was talking about, mind you, because I got distracted by the huge gap in the front wall, but... Man, I sure did have an idea, you guys. If I weren't holding a controller, I'd be giving a big, cheesy thumbs up right about now. And now I've forgotten what I was doing, and I need to pick a new topic. Kinda hard to do, if I'm honest. But you'd think I'd be pretty good at quick-fire riffing after doing this for about six years, but... Nope, still as lousy as I ever was. Is that bit textured? I had always assumed it was flat white. Uh, maybe I'm just not paying enough attention to incidental characters in a silly 90s video game from Japan. Of course, I say that as if I don't actually remember a lot of really stupid minutiae. It's bizarre. I'm planning a trip to Canada and picking up bits of language here and there, but for the most part, whenever I learn a bit of French, a little man in my head waves a piece of card and says, I know how to say that in German if you like, and then I have to silence him and try to replace him with a French man in my head. Something... Isn't right. Am I taller? Because it feels like that wall should be higher up. Maybe I'm just used to the stretched out version. In any case, whatever. My adventures in French have told me the following. J'ai soif. Je voudrais un tasse de thé, s'il vous plaît. Au lait, pas de sucre. So, I'm entirely set for the most important things. Or, in German, Durstig, Tee bitte. Nice and simple. And I think I'm going to check out the little alleyway down here, see if the, the skipping girls between the houses again. Don't know why, but it's probably going to be fun to go and see her. 
in as much as anything can be fun in this game. It'd also help if you get the right alleyway. <laughs> and if she had spawned in it. Ah, well. And you know what? I just realized I'd never really come this way in this playthrough. I showed off a giant can that one time. Does that count? That weird can that is stubbornly refusing to show itself right about now, just to prove my point? And I wonder if any of the lamps down this way do anything if you screw around with them. And I'm guessing no, because they all seem to be localized to the parking lot, but... Yeah, it couldn't hurt to try, could it? Hello, lamppost! I guess you aren't going to do anything. This could be because it has no behavior attached to it, or because the scripting doesn't work. Oh hey, I'm going to show off the edge of the map! Because you spend so much time hanging around the middle of the map, you kind of forget there is an edge, you know? The game disagrees. So, we are going to cut the video here and resume shortly. Join us next time for some more LSD. And until next time, goodbye!